Good evening, I'm Jennifer Lee. And I'm Josh Benson. Thanks for being with us tonight. Former U.S. President Jimmy Carter is crediting the new cancer drug Keytruda for obliterating his tumors and making him cancer free. But what do we know about that treatment? The drug is part of a revolutionary approach to cancer therapy, and that new drug is being used on cancer patients right here in the Bay Area. Josh Thomas joins us now live from Tampa with the very latest. Josh? Well, good evening, Josh. The Moffitt Cancer Center has long been at the forefront to eradicate that sometimes deadly disease, and now some patients here have been given the very same drug used to treat President Carter. Former President Jimmy Carter's declaration that tumors on his brain have disappeared gives hope to other cancer patients who are using the same new drug, Keytruda, as the president. Well, if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me. <laughs> Phyllis Eckel is being treated at the Moffitt Cancer Center for melanoma, one of the most dangerous forms of cancer. Doctors started giving her Keytruda, a new class of cancer-fighting drugs that was just approved by the FDA last year. And I was certainly willing to try it because with the lump and uh, the fact that they said it was a, can a melanoma, I would have tried anything at that point. Researchers tell us Keytruda empowers a patient's immune system to fight off tumors, but doesn't necessarily make them cancer-free. We can't really fully declare them cured because there could still be microscopic cancer lurking that rears its ugly head in the future. So even if, they're re if the patient's rendered free of disease, they still have to be under close surveillance. But Keytruda is considered a breakthrough medicine for some cancer patients. Five years ago, we would not have been able to get this type of a response uh, from a patient with multi multiple sites of disease like President Carter had. And I think it's a testimony to um, the research that's been done. I was just amazed that it, it really worked as quickly as it did and as efficiently. So I was very happy with it, truthfully. Now, in the case of President Carter's treatment, doctors also used chemotherapy and removed a tumor from his liver. But this does give new hope as they continue to fight the drug, the cancer, and the battle against it. Yeah, that's right, Josh. A lot of big talk on this story. A lot of people want to know then, could this be uh, the drug, end, the cancer ending drug that we know? Well, the researchers say that may be asking a lot, but they stress that they have made great strides and they continue to make great strides as they continue to fight cancer. Absolutely. Any hope we can, we'll take it. All right. Josh Thomas live for us in Tampa tonight. Josh, thanks.